Good afternoon, everyone. This is Michael DeCarlo. It is November 11, 2018, Veterans Day, and this is my fourth attempt at a video. My third one has yet to load. So hang on. We're going to talk about some controversial stuff in a few minutes. I'm going to read this here from John of Salisbury. To those who have come before us, we are like dwarves sitting on the shoulders of giants. We see more, and the things are more distant than they did. did not because of our sight is superior or because we are taller th than they, but because they raise us up and by their great statue add to ours. If you thought that was a pretty good question, here's a pretty good meme. I took this meme from Jonathan Picayune, and the previous was a screenshot from a video that's credited at the top. And by no means is this supposed to be disparaging to police officers at all. It's just some of us see you this way. I know it's kind of weird, but it's true. All right, transitioning over to this here slide that I made, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. It was, uh, I think I was talking to one of my uh, candidate friends about uh, the way that I see things compared to the way that they may see them and how there's a difference. For me, there's a ground truth, and that's what we the people know. That's on the very bottom of that triangle. And then you got your politicians and your bureaucrats. And the question is, what is the green? What's in the middle? What is everyone fighting over? And the thing is, is that at one time, where did that stuff, who did, what did that green stuff belong to? The government doesn't create anything except bureaucrats and bureaus for people to have jobs in. And politicians do nothing but tell us how they're going to spend our money. Now, it's, politicians are politicians, but it goes deeper than that. And it's not because I have anything bad, I'm bad to say about you guys. It's just that if you're the person that's going to come take, take my weapons, why do I want to be your friend? Just because I'm friendly with you doesn't mean that I, I, I'll give you my weapon. My weapon is used for self-preservation, to preser preserve my life and that of my family from tyrants. That's all. That's all. And to defend my life and my property from criminals, which tyrants are. Because every time the Constitution is violated, that's a felony. You've broken the law, it's a felony. And if you've done it before, it'll happen again. And it, this is, I'm, I'm not talking to the people within it, because there's only a few of you that I'm actually talking to you. And I'm talking to you directly because you hear me. The rest of you are just really good people stuck in a bad system. You do the best you can every day when you go to work. You don't do it to harm anybody, but that's just the way it goes. So I was talking to a friend of mine today, and he was concerned about the immigrants that are moving up from the south. You know, they came from, what, uh, Honduras or whatever, through Mexico. And we started talking a little bit about, you know, how I, how I felt about it or how people in the, in the country would feel about it because most people in the country are good good hearted and I'll say just let them in but he had some really good points and uh, you know what uh, I'm going to have to take notes of it <laughs> and actually if my phone was lighter I'd play it on here and you could hear his analysis because it's actually pretty it's it's like we're back at work kind of doing our own job but if you can look here as this map as this map's moving Moving up there, if you can see Lukeville and then Sonoida on the south side, that's the international border. What you see there is that Lukeville is is green, and it's the uh, Oregon Pipe National Monument, and to the south of that is a national uh, park or a state park in Mexico. Well, where those areas intersect, nobody owns it except the government, so it's like a public park. When no Everybody owns it, nobody does. And that's part of the reason that, you know, that might be the uh, a highway for uh, a place for a wall because there's a highway that runs right along it. Okay, I can agree with the president probably there. But the thing is, is that the government created that problem by aligning itself in claiming all that land instead of selling it because the government's never going to take care of it like the people would. 
Now that area we just talked about is to the south and to the west of this area that we're showing right here. It's that picture should move to the south and eventually get to Nogales. Uh, Sells is a town to the east of uh, Y and that checkpoint where they had the border. The border was two national parks aligned with each other. But either moving on here, uh, the on this picture right here that the part of the map to the left along it is along an international border is part of the Tohono Odom uh, Indian Reservation, which is a federally it's recognized tribe and federal the federal government is responsible for the maintain ma maintenance of those nations uh, based upon treaty. So uh, again, that's federal land. And then if you go down further, you'll end up with a national park and a wildlife recreation area. And then you go into Nogales, and then to the right of no to the east of Nogales, you end up with the Coronado National Forest. And the Coronado National Forest goes on and off again uh, to the to pass to the San Pedro River in the river valley there. You end up with the mining towns of Bisbee and Douglas, which has on the other side of it you have uh, Agua Prieta across the border so it's a border town and we'll show that picture momentarily but what what I'm trying to say here folks and what and bring to your knowledge is the border issues are border issues because the government's involved in it if you have people worried about their property it's not because I mean, it's because of criminal activity that could, could and some, most times is done by illegal aliens. But the reason for the vacuum that permits folks to travel in these areas is the owner of the land, which is either the federal or the state government, which means that they're not taking care of their own land. And it's not because they don't have enough money. It's because... They shouldn't be taking care of it to begin with. People take care of their property more better than they take care of public properties, all my point. You can see the Buenos Aires National Wildlife Reserve below, then it goes, runs into around uh, Sasabe, then it runs over to the Coronado National Forest. From that, it goes into Santa Cruz County. Once it goes into Cochise County, you end up at Fort Huachuca, then back into the Coronado National Forest. Uh, the city of Sierra Vista annexed for population purposes Fort Huachuca so all, for their, all the soldiers to be counted in the 85635 zip code. However, the zip code on Fort Huachuca, I imagine, still has, I bet you it still has census data on it. So it isn't just illegal immigrants that are flooding the uh, census data to tip the, the amount of uh, population for uh, congressional district count, its military forts are also used in the same way. This area that we're transitioning to is just east of the prior area. You wind up down in Nogales. The circle you see around there is where I was uh, trying to figure out how far away a police officer could live uh, and still work in the city of Sierra Vista since uh, they changed and accepted their DEA grant. And down to the south here is just a continuing a bigger area around where I live in Sierra Vista, all the way out to Bisbee, Douglas, Argo Prieta, and Naco. Interesting fact, uh, Bisbee, turn of the century, 1900, was actually the largest city between St. Louis and San Francisco. Thanks for stopping by, checking us out. If any of this makes sense to you, resonates with you, actually... Uh, Makes you want to know more about it or you have information you'd like to share, please make comments down below. Uh, you can email me at michael at decarloenterprises.net. Uh, look forward from hearing you, hearing from you. Please like and subscribe if and share this if this you think this could help anybody. Take care. This is Michael DeCarlo for decarlosdanger.com, my blog. Signing off. And reminding you to love each other, take care of each other, and wishing you peace to all tyrants, peace to all friends, caution to enemies.
and no quarter for tyrants.